The Mirror of Simple Souls is an early 14th century work of Christian mysticism by Marguerite Perret dealing with the workings of divine love. Love in this book layeth to souls the touches of his divine works privily hid under dark speech, so that they should taste the deeper draughts of his love and drink. From 15th century English translators prologue. Written originally in Old French at a time when Latin was the prescribed language for religious literature it explores in poetry and prose the seven stages of annihilation the soul goes through on its path to oneness with God through love. Enormously popular when written, it fell foul of the church authorities, who, detecting elements of the antinomian heresy of the free spirit in its vision, denounced it as full of errors and heresies, burned existing copies, banned its circulation, tried and executed Perret herself. In spite of this the work was translated into several different languages around Europe, including English, albeit not with Perret's name attached. In fact it was not identified as being by Perret at all until 1946. Since then it has been seen increasingly as one of the seminal works of medieval spiritual literature and Perret, alongside Mechthild of Magdeburg and Hadevake, can be seen as an exemplar of the love mysticism of the Beguini movement. Topic: 20th century rediscovery. A 15th century manuscript of an English translation by M. N. of the Mirror was found by Mr. J. A. Herbert among a manuscript collection purchased for the British Library in 1911 and was shown to Evelyn Underhill. Other 15th century copies were subsequently found in the Bodleian and the Library of St. John's College, Cambridge, together with a Latin version made in the late 15th century by Richard Methley of Mount Grace, Yorkshire. A printed edition was edited by Claire Kirchberger, from those four manuscripts, and published by Burns Oates and Washbourne Limited, publishers to the Holy See, in 1927, complete with Niall Obstat and Imprimatur. The translation by M. N included a number of glosses by him, and divided the text into divisions and chapters. The French book that I shall write after is evil i.e. badly written and in some places for default of words and syllables the reason is away. Also, in translating French, some words need to be changed or it will fare ungoodly, not according to the sense. From translator's prologue, for the 1927 edition, the medieval text was used but with spellings updated, and occasional words replaced accompanied by footnotes with additional glosses. 